And now we have West Virginia Attorney General Patrick Morrissey, who is also a candidate for the West Virginia Senate race. And I just want to tell everybody at home, we have a little bit of a delay in his signal. So there's going to be a little hesitation between my question uh, and your answer. But first of all, you know, what do you say to Evan Jenkins, who you just heard? He says that you were you wouldn't come around. You never supported President Trump during the 2016 election and didn't vote for him. Well, I think most West Virginians know that Evan Jenkins is just really stretching the truth at a level that he couldn't possibly imagine. First, I was a member of the Electoral College that supported Donald Trump. Evan Jenkins can't say that. And that position is actually reserved for those who are really trusted to vote for the president. So not only did I vote for him for Electoral College, I voted for him at the convention. I did ads pairing myself with him in the 2016 campaign. What you really have here is a very desperate candidate, Evan Jenkins, that his liberal background is being exposed. Evan Jenkins was for Planned Parenthood, for gun control. He stumped for John Kerry, rallied for Hillary Clinton, supported Nancy Pelosi. Uh, this is a very liberal background. And I think as more West Virginians are learning about my conservative record, standing up for the unborn, most people need to know I'm the only endorsed candidate in this race by West Virginians for Life and the Second Amendment groups, and all the conservatives are coalescing behind my candidacy. As that happens, I think Evan Jenkins is just getting very desperate, making up a lot of lies. I think Fox did a very good job earlier today calling Evan Jenkins out on Photoshopping an ad uh, when, meanwhile, Evan Jenkins is the one who rallied for Hillary Clinton. So I think people are seeing through his nonsense, and I think that the uh, next Tuesday, uh, we're looking forward to having a good win if the people of West Virginia grant it to us. So, you know, obviously you guys are going at each other pretty hard. I think everybody just got a taste of that, and they're going to see quite a bit more of it tomorrow night. This is a very intense battle going on in West Virginia. Um, but neither one of you seems to be talking about Don Blankenship. Why is that? Well, look, I think right now I'm putting forth my positive conservative vision for the state of West Virginia. I think what you're seeing out of both Don Blankenship and Evan Jenkins are a lot of the attack ads, whereas we have a lot of positive ads up. We have some contrast as well, but I'm emphasizing my record because I'm the only one in the race that has the proven conservative record and the conservative endorsements. I think late last week, when Senator Ted Cruz came on board, Senator Rand Paul, obviously all of the major conservative leaders in the state are rallying behind my candidacy, that's why we're able to project a very positive right. vision and why Evan Jenkins and Don Blankenship can't. We I will think see. Evan Jenkins really I, has that very deep liberal past, and he's not able to get I away gotta, from it. I got to jump in because we're out of time, but I promise you, you will get more time tomorrow night. And we really look forward to having you uh, all on stage. All of these gentlemen hope to beat Joe Manchin and turn West Virginia into a Republican uh, Senate state. So we'll see how that works out. Thank you, gentlemen, to you both. Don't miss it. Tomorrow night, West Virginia Senate debate. Me, Brett. It's going to be a big deal starting at 6.30, and then it will um, cross over into the story from 7 to 7.30 tomorrow night.